welcome or welcome back to my channel guys it's your girl joe if this is your first time seeing my face make sure to hit that subscribe button before we get started turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on an upload give this video a big thumbs up it helps more people see it also comment down below so i've been running around this morning because my the whole apartment electricity went out so and i I didn't want to be stuck in a house with nothing to do and my phone was on like 2% so I was like let me drive around try my phone I just got out of the dollar store and I'm about to go into five and below because I want to find like a really big canvas I got it from five and below before so I'm hoping that they have more I have a few DIY projects that I want to do I got a few things from the dollar store for it so I'm just on a hunt for everything once I get back into the apartment I'll show you guys exactly what I'm trying to DIY for my room because I want to you know I'm not finished with my room I've only been here for a few months and I feel like I still have so much more decorating and I want to bring in so much more colors and patterns and everything so I'm excited hopefully I'll find everything that I'm looking for so yeah let's go I'm back home and I did end up getting these two canvases. They came to $8. I want to paint. I don't know. I just want to paint a whole bunch of different things. And I want a bigger canvas to do that. So I got this. I was looking for feathers to like DIY something. But they didn't have it. So tomorrow I'm going to check Hobby Lobby once they're open. To see if I can find what I'm looking for. But from the dollar store I did pick up these poster boards. Pick the four. And you're probably like um. Why did you pick up for? Because I'm going to DIY cow print on my wall. So I do rent my apartment, so I didn't want to paint. And I was too impatient to order like wallpaper and wait for that to come in. So I'm for real DIY it and have a marker, white marker so I can outline it, cut it, and then put it on the wall. I'll show you the wall that I'm talking about. And those things were only 79 cents at the dollar store. So I'm going to do it and see how it comes out. I'm hopefully it comes out good because i'm excited this is the wall that i'm talking about right here it's like a little just like a like it just comes out a little more so i want to put like cow print going all down this to bring in like color and like a different pattern to the space i did do um cow print on these pot plants that i got from ikea and i did it again right here so i think it would be cute to have the whole wall Okay, so I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. So I pulled up some cow print on my phone. I'm using the back side of this so that when I cut it out, so I don't have to, first I don't have to try to take this off. And then if I make any mistakes, I can just like retrace it. And then when I cut it out, this part is going to be on the wall. So you won't even see any of this anyways. But I have these two so far. I'm trying to make them as, um, use up as much space as i can so i'm not wasting any room on here i'm just doing what i think looks like it could be a cow print see like i don't like how this part looks so i can just go like that and then you won't even see that that's like that so with this one piece i was able to get one two three four five six six out of this one piece so i am completely satisfied with this so now i'm just gonna do the same thing on the other four that i have now that they're all done the next step is to cut them out so that's what i'm gonna do i don't know how this is gonna come out i'm hoping that it's gonna come out cute gotta be careful because i already made like a white mark here i don't know how that happened but i can always just color that in maybe i don't know we'll see you just keep going and not get discouraged here 
is the first one. It's pretty cute. Okay, so now I just have so many more to go. Boom. Another one. Another one. Another one. So cute. So I'm gonna finish the rest of the hundred that I have to do off camera and then I'll be back once they're all cut out. It took about 40 minutes. So we're all done. All the pieces are cut out. Here's all the scrap. And my fucking finger hurts. I don't know what my finger hurts right here where my knuckle is from the scissors. The next thing obviously is to put them on my wall. So I'm going to, I'm trying to cause as little as damage as possible. So I'm just going to use like regular tape that I got to use. I know I could use like double sided tape, but I just want this to be able to come off as easier as possible um, in case I get tired of it or I don't like it, whatever cases, I just don't want any damage to the wall permanently. So I'm going to move all the pieces into my room and then we're just going to get started. Okay, so there's not really like method to this. I'm going to like just kind of stick it on as I go and then try to fit the pieces together and see what looks better together. I can't reach. Like, I can't reach all the way up here, so I'm just going to get as close as possible that I can. So I'm literally just taking this and just sticking, can you see it? Sticking the tape to it on both sides. Like that, and then stick it to the wall. One is up, okay. I did cut out a lot of like flat pieces, so those are gonna kinda like go in the corner like this, so it looks better. So I'm gonna tape it this end, and then tape this end. Ooh, it's hot. This is how it's looking so far. I think it looks really good. If I need to add more tape, I will, but so far the two pieces seem to be holding it together. So this is looking really good. a little tussle but it's coming on pretty smooth cannot complain this is why I speak too early as soon as I said that I messed up as soon as I said it was going smooth I messed up I'm really hot it's so sweaty but this is how it's looking I my mean can we say obsessed okay I have like the rest of this to do I still have a few pieces so if I don't use all of it I might go ahead and start putting some on the side so depending if I have any leftover that's what I'm gonna do It's the next day by the time I got finished the wall, the sun was setting and I wanted to show you it during the day. It turned out so freaking good for under three dollars. It looks amazing, like blown away how easy and creative this was and it just made the space look completely different. So let me show you guys how it came out. Ta ta! This is how it's looking. It looks really good. How freaking cute is this? 
good. It looks great. And I decided to, because after I did this, this side was looking a little empty. So I decided to just do this side as well. And I think it actually brought the whole thing together and this empty space into something great look at it it's so cute let me know what you guys think in the comments below i give it a 10 out of 10 i'm really impressed how easy it was i'm absolutely in love with it yesterday i kept staring at it i'm like it's little things like that that brings you joy and i love it it looks great if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up make sure to comment down below and i'll see you guys in my next video